tried my best and let's just hope it all goes well. So this is the final result. <laughs> I'm actually extremely irritated. That is my hair oiling routine. Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas episode two. I hope that you guys are doing well. If you're new here, my name is VNA Strick, and today we actually have an exciting day today. So we are going to my first Christmas party of the year, so that's very exciting. Um, it's actually a white elephant party with some of our friends. So I'm going to actually try to wrap the two presents that we're bringing because I'm not good at wrapping, but I'll also show you guys my outfit and me getting ready and everything like that, and I'll give you guys some snippets of the party. I also need to make a charcuterie board, and I think I'm pretty good at it, so we are gonna film that today. So yeah, I hope that y'all enjoy this video. Let's get started. <laughs> is this angle okay? I mean, do people wrap presents on the floor or is it just me? I feel like everybody does, right? I'm like a gift bag girl and I decided this year that I wanted to put more effort. Uh, let me show you guys a gift. So usually people bring like a joke gift or a good gift. My good gift is actually something that I want, so I hope I win it. But I got these little wine glasses. So it's a box that comes with four. This is what they look like and I want them. So I hope that I win it i'm literally gonna pick my own present so we'll see by the end of this vlog if i did win it i did get a joke one now i don't know if i'm funny or not i'm gonna put in this really big box to make it appeasing and then when they pick it and open it they're gonna see it's like a really nice sherpa blanket and then they're gonna see oh my god it's from the nfl oh my god it's probably a texans blanket because we're in houston texas and then they're gonna open it and it's the cowboys <laughs> is that funny? I mean, no offense to the Cowboys or fans. Like, I actually don't know anything about football. I just know that people here in Houston hate the Cowboys. So I thought this was funny. And it's also usable because it's a really nice Sherpa blanket. I'm just not very good at this. I, like, literally, look, I'm not a good cutter. I'm the kind of person that has never been able to, like, write on a straight line without a straight line, if that makes sense. I always go this way. And I'm also a really bad cutter. Okay, so all I know is that you're supposed to, like, roll it. Understand is how people like wrap gifts without having like a bunch of extra random scraps. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good to me. Oh my god! I just ran out of paper. What? Dang it! Hey. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. Get your butthole out of this video. Okay, that's good to me. This is what we have so far. Okay, you fold it down. I know this part, this is the part I'm good at, but I feel like I have way too much paper. Okay, stay folded. Okay, you fold it. Ah. So, let's just cut the extra. We don't need it. We're good. Let's be confident about this. What's wrong with being confident? Uh -huh. Oh. Hello? Hey. Three hours later. My brother called me and we just ended up talking, but now I can show you guys what I did. This is the good gift. How cute. Do you guys like the little light blue ribbon? The funny gift. And look, it's literally like elf inspired. Isn't this so cute? The next thing that we have to do is make that charcuterie board. I'm actually pretty good at charcuterie boards, so this is not gonna be a failed video, I promise. I tried my best. And you guys in my last vlog that I could not find boots that would fit me like I did I will link them down below 
they have stayed up and they're extremely comfortable. And let me show you guys something else. Okay, so I bought these little uh, feather bracelets on Amazon because I wanted to make my outfit a little bit more festive. They were super cheap. I can also link them down below. I did not think that they were gonna look very good because there's almost no reviews, but they actually look really nice. They're literally like those snap bracelets. So I kind of wanted to do it like this. And so now it looks like I have a feather shirt. Right now these feather shirts are like very popular, but how do you even wash them? So how cute are these? And you can actually remove them and I think it actually looks good and I think it also kind of elevates the look. What do you guys think? Um, I still need to kind of finish off my uh, charcuterie board. I'm gonna show you guys how I ended up making it. Let me go ahead and do the jam. We're kind of running late. I'm gonna do the final touches on this beautiful tray. So first I need to put these little things for the jams. And then I got um, raspberry and blueberry jam. I'm just gonna scoop the jam here. And by the way, the heart that you guys see on the brie cheese, I did it with just a little cookie cutter and it was actually really easy to do. And then because this jam is red, I'm gonna put it in the brie, but I have to be very careful with this. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna also put some honey because who doesn't like honey with that cheese? Leo, I know. And then I do have little knives that I'm just gonna bring with me as well as little toothpicks. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is actually add some rosemary. Um, this just makes it look super cute with the least amount of effort. This. I don't know how to make this look good. So here you go guys, this is the final result. All the crackers in another plate, so that was easier, and then I also have this little dessert plate. So we're on our way to go watch Avatar 2. Wyatt's more excited than I am. Avatar 1 is a good movie. Good. I don't get the hype, like I think it's good, but I don't see why it's like the number one movie uh, in the world. It's pretty cool, you know, it's cool. But I'm excited to go watch it. We're gonna go to one of those movie theaters where you can eat and we have like reclining couches, which is like my favorite thing. So after the movie, we'll give you guys a little movie review with no spoilers, of course, but I'll just let you know if it's worth your money or not. And then we're gonna go watch some Christmas lights. Uh, I did show you guys some footage from the Christmas party last night. One of my best friends actually won uh, the glasses that I showed you guys and I let her keep them because I'm a good friend. And then the joke, with which was a cowboy's blanket, ironically went to the one person in that house that was a Cowboys fan, so nobody stole it from him and he was Perfect. really happy. Perfect. So it all worked out. But well, no one was gonna steal that anyway. Yeah, so. so he got to keep it and he was really happy, so I'm just glad I could just make everyone happy instead of mess with them, you know? So. And everyone was happy, so. Bye. Mine is a Diet Coke, and why it's a Coke Zero, because he's a loser. Excuse me. Why did you like the movie? It was great. It was really good. Is yes. it worth the money? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, it was actually pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. It was very, very long. I don't know if it was worth the nine dollar diet coke, but we, it, was, it was worth it to go see it. We spent like fifty bucks on the a kid's meal. <laughs> but it was actually really good. It was pretty long, but I will say, again, no spoilers, it was pretty epic. And epic, epic. Do you like the first one or the second one better? The second one. I do too. I think this movie was actually better, so I definitely recommend it. Do you know if they're doing a third one? Yes, sir. What, in 10 years? Hopefully not. Are you going to get Yes, uh, could we get uh, one um, mini blizzard with Oreo? Okay. And then uh, one small blizzard with Oreo. Anything else? No, that's it. <laughs> okay, maybe. Thank you.
quiet. We just Very ate. That's incriminating evidence for me. Listen. Sorry? They have mini ones. And it's a good amount of like compact ice cream in one little tiny cup. And you just got me ordering it. Somewhere. And YA gets the small, <laughs> which I don't think it's is that bad. Small. I mean, it's and mine's a mini, and it's really good. Hey. Cheers. <laughs> it's a blizzard. I just ate a cookie. I need to make sure I didn't have anything in my teeth. Ask and y'all shall receive. Why am I falling everywhere? Let me show you guys my hair oiling routine for hair growth and of course scalp, scalp health. I do have this routine on my TikTok and uh, reels on Instagram. So the first thing I do is I start off with a little, like a scalp scrubber. I actually have two of these. I use this in the shower religiously. The amount of like, cleanliness that your scalp feels when you shampoo with this is nuts. Head massages are actually really good for like stimulating uh, hair growth. So right now that's kind of what I'm doing. My favorite oil is this one, the ones you guys probably see everywhere. It's the Miel uh, Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I do have a pure rosemary oil as well that I do mix with other oils because you don't want to put just like only rosemary on your scalp. It's a little harsh, you wanna use a carrier oil. But I will say, this Miel one, which is a little pricey for like the amount of product that you get, it just has a bunch of oils, like a crap ton of other oils, so that's why I like this one better. And then I also use jojoba oil. So, this one I will put on my scalp, and all I do is kind of um, spill it all over my face. And you know, I'm not very like precise with this. I just try to get it all over my scalp. I have very, very dry scalp and I also have some like very light, mild psoriasis on my scalp as well. So even though I already have like long hair, this is obviously also helping the health of my scalp and it's very, very like hydrating and soothing. I do do this every time I wash my hair. I wash my hair twice a week and ideally I like to do this like at the beginning of the day and let it sit for a couple hours. So now I'm just gonna kind of rub my head, my scalp a little bit, just to kind of get that everywhere. And then if you also just want to add some TLC to like mid shaft to the edges, I've been using jojoba oil. I'm actually almost out of it. I'm like right here. I think next I'm gonna try argan oil, um, but this has been really nice. It just kind of, Brush out my hair before I do this and just put it all over the hair. The easiest way that I've found is just to put it on your hands, rub it, and just go to town. And by the way, I can link all of these oils down below. I just buy them from Amazon, super simple. You have pretty long hair. I've always had long hair, but now, ever since I started oiling, it just looks healthier and also it's been growing and also my scalp just feels so nice, especially during like these winter months. Ooh, I really, really need it. And lastly, if you guys want some help around like the hairline, just grab your rosemary oil or whatever oil you're using. I'll just pat it around the hairline and that's it. Literally it took me five minutes. Um, if I'm going to the gym or I'm running errands, I'll just put some mousse on my hair and like slick it back. So right now I'm actually leaving it fairly loose and I'm just gonna kind of put my hair up just so that I don't have to have like oily hair everywhere. And all you do is pin it. This is my routine. There's so many other ways to do this, but if you do have a dry scalp, um, or maybe you do have some psoriasis. This has helped me a lot. On top of that, my hair has just been looking super, super healthy. So that is my hair oiling routine for healthy hair and healthy scalp. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hey guys, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually extremely irritated. I'm in a situation where I'm screwed if I do and I'm screwed if I don't because every time influencers get any work done and they hide it, people 
get mad. People like beg for people to be transparent. And then there's people like me, which I went to go get a little Botox and a little filler and I was transparent about it. Transparent enough to where I took you guys with me and now I'm getting so many comments about people's opinions, which number one, like, I'm sorry, but like, it's really none of anybody's business what I decide to do with my face, my body, any, like really just my life. Um, I'm a grown woman. It's okay if you have an opinion, but you know, I don't think I've ever gone onto someone's video or picture and, and said, hey, you shouldn't do this. Like, you know, like I understand if some of you guys have a concern and like, that's fine, but I'm starting to see that there's a lot of not genuine comments. I'm not gonna lie, I got a comment saying that um, they thought that I was pregnant when they looked at my face, but now they realize that it's because I got a bunch of filler and that's why I look blown up, which is ridiculous because I'm not pregnant. Um, I only got filler right here. I don't have any filler on my face. So for someone to say that my face looks pregnant, even though I've lost a bunch of weight, it's just like so triggering and so unnecessary. So I see your comments and I don't appreciate the ones that have bad intention. You know, if you could stop, that'd be nice. I understand that I'm putting myself on the internet, so I do have to hear everybody else's comments, but I just want you guys to know that if you're like a loyal subscriber of mine, I think, I know you guys aren't the ones doing it. I, I know the ones that are commenting are, are people that don't really know me as well as some of you longtime followers are, so what anybody else does with their bodies is none of my business, so, um, Hopefully you guys can just respect some boundaries. If you guys do that, then I would feel more comfortable sharing more with you. But right now I'm starting to regret sharing that with you guys because that's what my comments are turning into and I don't appreciate it. So to the people that defend me on the comments or just comment really nice things, I really appreciate you guys like more than you know. Like you guys are the reason why I make videos and I feel comfortable like sharing with you guys. So thank you and I love you guys so much. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hey guys, so it's actually a couple days later. I actually finally finished uh, wrapping Christmas presents and I think I did a pretty good job. Let me show you guys. I put ribbon across all of them. I also did a little, little jingle bell with the name tag of who it's for. And this year I decided to do like very uh, Christmassy traditional colors, not too fancy, just like those warm and fuzzy colors. What do you guys think? Do you guys love it? I love them. I'm like very excited because the next vlog that you guys see, I'm gonna be in Mexico. I am leaving to go to Mexico in two days. I have been just batch filming for my channel because I obviously want to keep posting while I'm gone. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna go spend Christmas with my family and I will be sharing that with you guys as well as going back to San Miguel, which is where I got married with Wyatt to celebrate our seven year dating anniversary. So I will bring you guys to that. Your family.